Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first two weeks in April. I already did one April reading. I will tag that to the end. So this is for Cancer. I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn because I want to keep saying Capricorn. So you may be dealing with one of those. Um, if you are interested in this deck, the link will be uh, in the description box below. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. 777 and drama queen. I feel like we're dealing with it. You could do maybe dealing with a drama queen here. We're going to put these back in and we're going to start over. But I feel like there is a lot of, I think it's extreme drama. I do. I feel like it's extreme drama. This is uh, no faith, uh, not very spiritual. You may be dealing with somebody that isn't very spiritual. This person is shallow they gossip they are causing you a lot of problems uh they may not believe in a higher power um this is a lack of faith a lack of believing um not very spiritual extremely dramatic yeah i think that you're going to be dealing with some drama i do <laughs> And this drama queen may cause you to lose faith, you know. I'll take that one. Libra. You could be dealing with Libra. Um, there's an injustice here. So there is some sort of injustice. This is uh, unbalanced lies, dishonesty. There could be something that is not going in your favor. You know, that is, that is, uh, it could be a legal situation that is not going in your favor. There's lies. There's dishonesty. Somebody's lying about something. There could be an argument with no resolution in sight with that card in reverse. You will be attending a get-together very soon, probably within the next two weeks. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Virgo, Libra. Three, three, three. Threes are uh, ascended masters and angels. It's some sort of protection. Um... It's a, also a card of growth and change and spiritual awakening as well. Spiritual, you know, alignment really because it's a mon mind, body, and soul um, union. Um, you will be attending a get together soon. Could be in re there could be a Virgo and a Libra involved. Somebody's prayers have been heard, and I don't, I don't know if it's yours. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Um, somebody's prayers have been heard. Younger woman. We have a younger woman here. When I look at this, you know, Virgo is the virgin, you know? So I'm wondering if we have somebody that is... What I want to say is pregnancy, and I don't even need to see the pregnancy. I just feel like that's what wanted to come out of my mouth. You may receive news of a pregnancy. Um, we do have a younger woman here whose prayers have been heard. We have a two-faced individual here. And we have a skilled player. So somebody is playing they are playing and they play very well and i said liar this is a liar so some we we have a we have a liar here we definitely have a liar here this person is not who they say they are you may be getting together with this person this week beware okay you beware because you're dealing with somebody that is very skilled at manipulation 
very skilled at manipulation. So yeah, I think you're going to be getting together with somebody that uh, you cannot trust. You cannot trust this person. Um, <laughs> you may you may have a younger woman around you that is very very two-faced could be a man There is some sort of duality here, and you're not seeing it clearly. I don't think you're seeing it very clearly. I think we have third party interference. We do, I think we have third party interference here. And somebody is hiding it very, very well. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have somebody here that is very cunning, very clever, very devoted, practical, responsible, holding on to something of value. This Queen of Pentacles has something of value in her hand. She has the goods, whatever it is, she has the goods, this Queen of Pentacles does. This is a hard-working individual who is stable and secure. Has Virgo in her chart. Strong Virgo. Could be Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You're dealing with somebody that is very capable. This, whoever this other person is, this person is very, very independent, skilled, um, capable, devoted, motherly. So we have a mother here. I don't know if you're dealing with a motherly individual. Whoever this person is, they're down to earth, very um, stable. So we have somebody here that is very, very stable, very abundant. Queen of Wands, there is two people. There is two people. There's an if if there's another woman. Okay, there's another woman here. Oh my goodness gracious. I think we have a player that is playing with two women. Or or something like that. Yeah, that's what I think we have. I feel as though, I don't know, I feel like there's some sort of manipulation here, strong manipulation. Very strong. This is very strong and this is manipulation. Strong manipulation. Somebody is determined. They are determined to deceive. Unfortunately, that is deceived. They're determined. They are determined to get their own way. And I feel like there's I feel like there's going to be Well, this person's going to take action because they feel like they have been treated unfairly. Somebody is feeling like they have been treated unfairly. They've been played. And they're about to it feels like they're going to throw a fit, but they're up against somebody that is, you know, very capable of holding on to whatever it is that they want. You know, this person has the resources, has the skills, has the know-how, has the knowledge. This person may be more attractive, may be more fiery, may be more feisty, but and more forceful, but 
if you think about, okay, it can be stepped on. I mean, how do you put a fire out, a fire on the ground? You go, if it's not a big one, you know, you go step on it. And the queen of the queen of pentacles is very grounded, so it's interesting. And this person does feel stepped on. They do feel stepped on, so I feel like they're going to take action, you know, to keep to keep something burning, to keep something going, and they're up against somebody who has the resources to put out the fire, which is interesting. There is some sort of, I feel like we have, a, we have a competition here. We definitely have a competition and we have a player underneath it all. We have a player that is playing with two different people. We have a two-faced, skilled individual here that um, is playing two sides. You think about the scales, there's two sides. Somebody is playing both sides. This is somebody that um, is very, very, very manipulative. This person, like I said, prayers are going to be answered. This person has been praying for something. Praying for an opportunity. Praying for a blessing. Praying for something. And she's going to get it. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For a very interested. Somebody is interested. They were not interested before, but now they are. They missed an opportunity with somebody that was stable, solid, and secure. They got themselves involved in something impulsively. They did. And I think they did that because they were hurting they were hurting over something. There is definitely third party situation here. I feel like there's going to be a decision that is made. I do, I feel like there's going to be a decision that is made and somebody's not gonna be happy with the outcome. This is unhappy with the outcome. They were played. Somebody was played by a player that was probably trying to prove a point to this person over here. This person is independent, very capable of taking care of themselves. This person is very attractive, you know, very, very in strong, determined, proud, you know. Confident. But I feel like I feel like this person has been played. They have. This person's over on the player side. We definitely have a two-faced individual here who has played two people, has played two sides. And they they gave up an opportunity. You notice where this ace of cups is, it's over here. They gave up an opportunity for happiness to be with somebody. Kind of, I feel like this person forced them into something because the Queen of Wands is a very forceful energy. You know? That is dramatic too. Very dramatic. Anyway, I do think you can be expecting some drama. I do think that some there's going to be a, a dramatic outburst ahead because I think that somebody is making a choice and the person that is getting rejected is going to throw fit. Somebody ignored or they chose uh, something else. But now they're interested and in they're interested in whatever it is that they weren't interested in before. Now they're interested. They're taking off that mask. They were wearing a mask. Somebody wasn't who they said they were. They're taking their mask off. They are. They're taking their mask. They're showing their cards. They are showing their true colors. They're showing their cards. I do believe that you're going to... I feel like there's going to be... Some sort of reveal. Hmm. And four, of, four of pentacles holding on. We have a very stubborn individual. This is somebody that is uh, 
holding on to something for security reasons, for stability reasons. We have somebody here that wants stability now. They ignored an opportunity. They did. They were focused on their job. They were focused on their business. They were focused on their money. And they held on to somebody just to look stable. It was all for the looks of it. It really was. It was all for the looks. I feel like now they're letting something go that was all part of the scheme. I think it was some sort of scheme. Somebody was trying to scheme to get back at another person. I do feel like there's going to be an argument with no resolution in sight. I do. I absolutely feel that way. I feel like there is. I feel like there's going to be a fight. We have a very feisty individual here, I think, that is going to get angry about being played. Look at this. We have a man and two women. We have a man that is a complete control, has complete control over a situation. This person ignored an opportunity for love. They were holding on to something for stability reasons, for, for security reasons. And now I feel like they have a new vision. They have a new, they want to take a new approach. They want something more. They do. They, want, they don't want to play games anymore. They involved, somebody involved another woman or another man. They did. Oh, and it was for all the wrong reasons. We have this devil on the bottom. I think that this is, this is anger. This is self-indulgence. It's force. It's, it's, uh instant gratification it's codependency it's lust it's greed somebody has been suffering they have been tied to something that is toxic and unhealthy and i feel like their ego got in the way somebody let their ego get in the way of happiness and now they're breaking free they're taking back control Somebody is taking back control. And I feel as though they are seeing what kind of like what love is. It's like, no, this isn't love. That was lust. It was lust or it was my ego getting in the way, getting in the way of my pride. Like I said, proud, pride. We have somebody here that let pride get in the way of happiness. And I feel like they made the wrong choice. They were played by a player. And I feel like they're realizing the truth. And I feel like I feel like uh, the player also. I feel like the player is deciding to reveal the truth. You know what I mean? And when they reveal the truth to the person that they played, the person that they played is going to get angry. <laughs> That's what I see. We have a person that is in a position of power. This person hasn't been telling the truth. They have not been telling the truth. And I feel like they're getting together with somebody uh, that they neglected. You know, they're getting together with somebody else. That's what I see. I feel like it's a younger person, and I think it is somebody that they know. It's somebody that they neglected. They're, they're, and I feel like it's because they've had some sort of awakening. They have. It's a spiritual awakening right there. Somebody has had a spiritual awakening. And the person that they played is going to have, bring out the drama. Okay, they're going to throw a fit. This is act hysterical. So I do believe that this is going to be a week of breaking free from an unhealthy situation. I feel like things have gotten worse. Somebody's been in a dark place. It's like they've had a dark night of the soul moment. And they realize that holding on to this 
other person is not what they want. They want, they want the other one. They want the other one. So I do believe there's going to be a change. I do. There is going to be a change. I feel like this person has been sitting here waiting for this person to wake up. And they are about to wake up. So anyway, Cancer, I think that you can expect some drama. I do. I don't know if you were an other, another woman or something like that. Or you're dealing with somebody who has another woman um, or another man. Because this could be a man or a woman. I believe that the drama is about to unfold. This is like when, you, when you're playing this game, people cheat. I think that there's been some, there could be some cheating that was going on with somebody, you know, that needed attention. This is attention seeking, it is. Anyway, I do believe that there is going to be, there's been an injustice. Somebody has been treated unfairly. We have somebody here that has gone through some sort of spiritual awakening. And now they see an opportunity for love that they missed. And they are going to be breaking free from the wrong one to go with the right one. And that's what I got. Good luck.